It's been said that an image is worth a thousand words. A concept implying that a single visual element can replace a multitude of descriptive factors, that one image can carry meaning and definition far more adequately than any verbal or written description. In the case of our own definitions, that is, as Native American people, why have we been reduced to a single word, a single silhouette? Red skin, one word, two syllables. Labeled in many dictionaries as a noun, dated or offensive, and simply defined in American Indian. Every so often, the press discovers native peoples. A protest in North Dakota against a major oil pipeline continues to grow. How is it that they're able to proceed in the way they have? They believe their own racist stereotypes about native people. It was never intended to be racist. 20 years ago, you didn't hear about any of this. But we're still considered these kind of like headdress caricatures living on the plains and, you know, never went past 1900. That doesn't really allow us into like this, you know, modern dialogue where we have all these issues that are happening. So Indians are wrapped into the fiber of America from the very, very beginning. There's a lot of complex history with DC, this football team with race, its fan base. Um, I'm an indigenous person, I'm an indigenous woman, and I have a voice, and, and that's the strongest thing that I have. They don't look like Indians to me. This is what happens in settler societies. They take old European rituals and practices and beliefs, they graft them onto new sort of symbol systems around Indians, in Jewish history, we have been called so many names, and the names connote inferiority. You can't force honor on people. 